Ramadan Karim, I'm Massimo Bracale. I'm the president of the Swiss School of Management. Welcome to my session on leadership during times of crisis. I'm here actually in my home studio at home where I normally uh, record my drums because that's my greatest passion and hobby. And today I'm using it actually to talk to you to make the short uh, movie for you on leadership during times of crisis. So despite the situation, which is very tough, and I hope you are all well with your families and with your health, um, it is actually a great situation to look at who is leading our countries, who is leading our societies. And um, of course, we are talking about politicians, leaders that are on top, presidents, prime ministers, chancellors, you know, and I'm watching the news every day, actually, to understand how this virus is developing and uh, how countries, the different strategies countries are applying to fight against virus. And it's a great opportunity to see how these people react, how they lead. Are they leaders or are they not leaders? So if we look uh, at the United States, you know, um, they had time enough to get organized. They, they had time enough to get things in place, you know, because the virus was coming. They were the last country actually to be hit by the virus. And you judge, you can tell me what you think, you know, but I believe that they did really a mismanagement by uh, downplaying the, um, the virus itself. And while it was important to put action in place, it was necessary to react immediately to this and get prepared because it was coming, right? No, they spent time blaming other countries. They were looking about uh, enemies, you know, and um, from my point of view, this is no leadership. Another great mistake was happened um, happened in the, in the UK where th their prime minister got hit by the virus even himself before actually downplaying the whole thing and uh, it was actually a very a very mismanagement on that. Germany reacted very well. Switzerland reacted very well. Italy got in all this situation because it was the maybe the the number one country with more deaths on today, you know, and uh, reacted uh, in, on a late moment as well, because they were not, they were surprised about what was going on. But as soon as they realized people were dying, they immediately locked down the country. And we are still, it's now the fifth week we are on lockdown here in Rome. And uh, you see, that's a different way leaders behave. So what makes a leader a good leader? I always use this example of being a captain of a ship, okay? You are on a cruising ship, you know, the sea is flat, the sun is shining, there is almost no wind. It's easy to be a captain when there is no challenge to be fought. But what happens when the wind increases? What happens when the waves get higher? This is where you need to have your act in place, where your experience counts, where your professionalism counts. There you see who is a real leader. My father always said, you know, son, there are two kinds of people in this world. Some people are born soldiers. Some people are born generals. Okay. I somehow, after almost 48 years of life experience, I would tell him, uh, dear dad, um, it's true. Some people are born with talent. Some people are born with uh, charisma. They have this. It's an inborn feature. But... I know that you work hard. You can learn those skills. You can learn how to face a particular situation, making an analysis about the current situation and evaluating the alternatives, how to act and what is the next step you need to take. So each of us can become a leader. I'm not a leader. I'm the first one that is not a leader. But sometimes, sometimes I have to take decisions. And many times my decisions were wrong in the past. Absolutely. It's in the way of things. That's life. Important is to learn out of our mistakes, out of the bad decisions we took, maybe the people we hurt or whatever, or the business, the money we lost. Important is to learn and not do the same mistakes again. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we are all asked to be leaders. And a good leader, a good general is also a very good soldier. And Today, we are asked to be very good soldiers. I wish you again Ramadan Karim and uh, all the best and health for you and your family. Thank you.